Sounding warnings after her son was seriously beaten in a surprise attack. Tammy Patterson says her 15 year old son got hit from behind while walking home from a friend's house last week. He wound up with a broken jaw. Local force Ashley Richmond joins us live in the newsroom after speaking with the boy's mother today. Ashley? Jim, Tammy Patterson says she was in complete shock when her son came home last Thursday with a swollen jaw and blood dripping down his face. She says the worst part is that her son has no idea who attacked him or why. His left side of his jaw was shattered in three different places. The nerve on the left side was also shredded to the point where we're not sure if it will ever be repaired. So he may never have feeling in the left side of his face again. Tammy's son's jaw is now wired shut after doctors spent four hours fixing the damage. Her son has asked us not to use his name or show his face. He's afraid this might happen to him again. He was walking home around 7.30 last Thursday night when he was attacked in an empty lot near his family's house. Because he was hit from behind, he only saw his attacker's legs and shoes as he fell to the ground. He was alone when it happened. There are no witnesses and Galesburg police say they do not have a suspect. It's been a hard week for the family as they deal with the aftermath of the attack, but Tammy says they do have one thing to be grateful for. The good Lord saved my son. Instead of letting him die there, he actually fixed him and let him heal. But by the grace of God, he is still here with me. And I want to make sure that people understand that this is not a joke. This hurt. Tammy says when she was at the hospital with her son, police told her this is not the first attack of this nature in Galesburg. Other people have also recently been the victims of this seemingly random violence. Police are still investigating what happened to Tammy's son. In the newsroom, Ashley Richmond, Local 4 News. Ashley, thanks for that report.